hello welcome to this channel today in this video you will learn how you can start with your embedded systems project without having hardware we will cover why do we need emulators emulators actually help us to start without having hardware in our hands uh, available emulator softwares installation and then we will do a demo as well so next why do we need to start uh, without hardware like why do we need emulators so to finalize the hardware what we can do is we can quickly test the basic functionality so before finalizing like which microprocessor or microcontroller we are going to use we can test basic functionality and then select the appropriate microcontroller the second step is uh, before you receive the ordered hardware let's say you ordered any particular hardware which is not arrived yet or you made a custom PCB and which is uh, still in the production in the meantime uh, we can start developing software so that whenever we receive our hardware we have something to test the hardware and then the last step is speed so we usually perform these three operations we build the code we flash it onto the microcontroller memory and then we run and monitor uh, while developing any new feature we need to iterate multiple times to finalize it so we continuously test and change and uh, we have every time we have to build flash and then monitor it which takes a lot of time uh, but with the emulation the speed of testing gets faster and we will see how in in our uh, demo next what are the options we have so this is very popular QEMU quick emulation software which is open source and free and there is another one is the VOCV which have a like one month free trial which we are going to use today as well but it is paid and it's not uh, much it's like I guess it's about ten dollar a month uh, I am working on quick emulate emulator with ESP but uh, I have some uh, issues with the internet connectivity and I found the Wokovi uh, Wokovi does solve that issue and I'm using that and soon I will fi fix the uh, network issue in quick EMU uh, and uh, I will be making uh, upcoming videos using quick EMU but but in the meantime Wokovi is uh, is not bad option as well even Wokovi does come uh, come with a lot of uh, uh, advantage uh, like we can uh, use our browser to quickly uh, simulate and test everything but today we will see the demo using Wokovi so next is the installation so what you can do you can go and search the Wokovi and this will show up as a first option and then if you click on that first option you, you will land on this page uh, and here we are going to use Wokovi for VS code if you click on that page so we land on this uh, page which shows us uh, step by step procedure how we we need to install so we need to install the extension 
So let I already installed it on my system uh, in VS Code. Uh, let me open it up. So we can see the extensions and if I see VocV uh, Oh, I missed time. Yeah, so VocV simulator which is already installed here but uh, for you, you have an option either you open VS Code and go to extension and search VocV here or you click on this and it will um, direct you to this page and then you install it and there's one more requirement so when the installation finishes you need to press the F1 and select work we request a new license so what you can do is um, if you are starting it out so press F1 and you, you see this option request a new license if you click on that uh, the VS uh, code will ask you confirm opening the website and then you confirm it uh, you need to click on the get your license button and you need to sign in so if you don't have an account so you can easily create one one for free and the browser will ask for a confirmation to send license to VS code and then you confirm that and you will see a message saying the license activated so for me uh, I already did all those steps and uh, you just follow this guide and you will be good to go and then the next step is the demo for demo we probably gonna use example project so I'm going to use this web browser so this is the github repository so we are going to clone it so I'm going to clone it in the download be somewhere so we need to clone it I'm going to hold on uh, I will use documents and then uh, YouTube and uh, I will download here So this is the project we downloaded ESP32 HTTP server. So let's change directory. Okay. So we need to just uh, you need to pay attention. So what is the difference because if you have a, uh, your project and that might not have these uh, vocv.toml file uh, but here we have it so you are downloading from vocv and this example that's why this example has this vocv.toml and diagram.json file these are two files you need if you have your project and you just need to copy these two files into it and you probably need to understand a little bit but this is the main difference otherwise the code is is same if you have any example from your SDK so let's uh, 
open this up so I'm going to open in VS code so this example code is uh, It's, it's a HTTP server so basically we we are going to get this page uh, if we if we request it from localhost so just pay attention if you go to this file uh, this will look for the locations uh, where the firmware binary is and this is to forward the uh, port uh, 8081, 8182, 80. Uh, so basically, if we look at it, we are using port 80, but uh, we will use the local host port 8180. So this basically uh, forward. Uh, the traffic to the port 80 and to run it we need to compile first so this uh, this is the platform IO project so you need to make sure you already have that extension Uh, platform IO yeah so you need to make sure you have this extension installed and uh, if the project is uh, compiled successfully then what do you can do so now if you have a hardware you need to connect your hardware and then you need to upload it but now we will go to uh, pr press the F1 and you need to search Vokvi start simulator uh, I recently used it it shows up here otherwise you can search it like this Vokvi then it's gonna show you the options so start simulator so you can press on this start you see this shows up uh, the same way uh, when you connect uh, your hardware so you're gonna see the same output so this is actually similar uh, to to if you are running on any hardware so now so we are connected connected to the Wi-Fi so what we guessed is the Wi-Fi and then uh, we have this local local host and port 8180 so we need to go to So localhost port 8180 you see so we, we get that page and we can go back no we need to go back to the VS code so both LEDs are off both LEDs are off so let's make LED 2 on so LED2 is on now so we can see uh, the benefit of using this uh, extension is uh, you, you can easily access the HTTP browser as well from your local browser without having to do any extra work on that so this was the demo so we can turn this off so that turns off we can stop it and uh, we can close it and we can restart 
the same way so that's all uh, for today uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I will be working on uh, the quick emulator option and uh, in the meantime uh, this Vokubi is also free for one month uh, try it out it's not expensive it does come with uh, a lot of uh, features you can explore further on their website thank you and if you see value please subscribe to this channel